So to do that, you're going to start by just choosing a, a jar or a vessel. In this case, we chose a ball jar. Yep, and that's and a gallon or a half gallon? This is a gallon. Okay. Yes, a gallon. And this is a rather large one. You can do smaller ones. You could do a vase or a fishbowl even. Um, but to figure out how much rope you'll need, you just measure over it like so, and then multiply that by 10 and cut eight pieces to that length. Okay. So you can imagine that's going to be a really long piece of, yeah. of uh, twine. Okay. Um, so what we have here is just something to demonstrate. At home, you would have really long. You might want to do it on a tall table or something. Okay. Um, so you'll have or your... on the ground and, and you're going to be on your sure, hands and knees. running around on your hands and <laughs> knees, exactly. So to start, you'll cross four of the lengths with another four lengths oh, right okay. in the center. You can pin that in place on a, on a piece of cork. And then to make that strong knot at the bottom that's going to start the whole thing, it's called a lanyard knot. And we actually have a template for it online. Oh, good. A, a oh, diagram, good. I mean, um, to My show you how poem, to do the it. The lanyard. The lanyard. Oh, Billy Collins. Did you ever read it? I have not. <gasps> read it to your son. I will. Remember that. I Billy will. Collins, the, the lanyard. lanyard. Yes. Now, this is a knot that you may have used at camp to make friendship bracelets. We did. No, we made lanyards. Sure. And for my whistle when I was lifeguarded. That's right. That. Yeah. That's what you. So to do this, you're going to bring one side of the X over the other, and then that side of the X over the next one. Oh. And then that so side neat. over the next one, and you're going counterclockwise here. And then the last one you bring back and you thread it right through that loop. Already simple. And then we're just going to... It's getting complicated. Pull that tight. <laughs> oh, so what do you pull? Oh. Just one at a time, oh. just neatly, so that... You get them all together in the center. I'm going to take out these pins. Oh, this is a beautiful knot. Just yeah, this is that square, square knot mm -hmm. that then you can uh, draw another thing On through. Of it. That's exactly. right. Oh, so we're just going to use this one and pin it in the center. Okay. Then I'm going to take two mm. so adjacent <gasps> strands. Perfect. This is five inches across this jar. What color was your lanyard? When I was lifeguard? Yeah. I think it was orange. Orange was always um, my favorite color. Mine was red and white. Oh, lovely. Very nautical. It matched, it matched no, it matched the lifeguard badge. <laughs> <laughs> so two and a half inches, since this is five inches, I'm going to tie a knot, two together. Wait, every, oh, the every one two. from this one and one from this one? Sure. Okay, and how far down? About two and a half what inches. Kind of, oh, just, just, just like this? Just an overhand knot. Oh, yep. like that, okay. Just the knot you think of when you think of a knot. Okay. And you do this all the way around. I'm so sorry, every but that's not the one I think of. No, two um, together. Okay, the two from the uh, from the opposites. So you're right. leaving so the we'll ones. Right. So we'll do these okay. two, these two, these two, these two. And I have one okay. that's already done, so I can show you how okay. it looks once you've done all and of them. And the instructions for this, so people don't go crazy, are on right. our website. Exactly. At MarthaStewart.com. Yes. Now, okay. this is how it looks when it's all done. You have... A, Set of knots. It's you macrame. Have right here it is. It's, it's macrame. Kind of faux macrame. I think the people who do faux macrame. real macrame, they do really fancy knots. Okay. Now, I'm going to take a rubber band and get this on here and tape the knot to the center. Should have done that first. And then you want to distribute these little knots all the way around evenly. Okay. Let me see if there's a good spot to show you. This is so, I love doing stuff like this. It's kind of relaxing. Oh, it right? is. Turn on Mad Men <laughs> and just enjoy. So here, I've done, taken two of these strands together and tied a knot. So one oh, strand so from each Okay, down here, another knot. Adjacent knot, right. And then you continue to do that, like so. But evenly spaced. To make a net. Evenly spaced. And you can make them as close or as far apart as you want them. I love that. And the rubber band actually is your, like, your equator. Exactly. Yeah. So you can line everything up with your the rubber latitude. band. And then come all the way around. And these are the longitude, right? The, sure. The, <laughs> See, I start thinking about all other things when I do stuff <laughs> like this. Oh God! Then I have to go to the, go to the internet and look up which which is right and which is wrong. And oh God! So here you can see I'm starting to get a net 
yeah. to form. This is working And here I have a finished one where I've gone all the way down. Very nice. And now I can just flip it over. And you could just tie this to a branch. We actually have instructions online on how to thread it through a ring like this, which you can get at a hardware store. Yeah, I think you should thread it through and make a neat... And make a neat little, this is yeah. called a cow hitch. Look at that. And then right here, we can finish it off with a wrapped knot. And you don't even need a any glue. A, a wrapped knot oh, is what that Oh, I thought you said rat's called. knot. <laughs> a wrapped knot. I don't know what that would be, but we have all the instructions online. <laughs> this is great. Oh, it's so much fun. Thank you.